Hey guys, Rob Nicholas here with SPX Cooling Technologies here in Kansas City at our development center. Just wanted to take a few minutes to talk about our ST nozzle cup system and its advantages in being able to manage water flow rate in cross flow cooling towers and protecting your tower during wintertime operation. We're uh, showing the demonstration of nozzle cups in an NC basin. What we've got here is half of the nozzles towards the eliminator side are using nozzle cups. The, the nozzles towards the louver side are open and we're trying to force the water towards the louvers. This is at about 100% design flow, so we're at about three inches of head over the nozzle and we're at about 100%. Now as we turn down the flow rate, what, what happens is the water starts gradually not flowing into those nozzle cups to a point where the water is only diverted to the louver face and the nozzles that are not using nozzle cups. At about this point, we are at about 50% of the design flow and still have uniform distribution on the louver face of the fill. Since this water has been pushed to the louver face, this would prevent icing happening on that louver face and saving the tower in, in dangerous, potentially dangerous conditions. Now as we turn the flow rate back up, we're going to see that the transition point at about the 50% design flow, after that point it starts flowing back into these nozzle cups. And so the water that forces into those cups is now being distributed over the, the eliminator portion of the fill to a point where this would be 100% design flow, uniform distribution over the full heat transfer surface. Um, there's still room in this basin for additional additional flow and we'd be able to take this, this basin up to about five inches of head which would be about 120% of the design flow. And this is how nozzle cups are used in NC towers. Again, this is Rob. Hey, thanks for watching.